tukiwa na theme moja peke yake tukisema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu we are going around the country giving thanks to god kwa sababu sisi tunajua sisi kuwa hapa ilichukua mkono wa Mwenyezi Mungu na unajua kumekuwa na debate katika nchi yetu about the centrality of god and the church in this Kenya Kwanza administration watu wengi wanauliza maswali kwa nini kila kitu tukiambiwa tunasema tuombe tufanye hii kwa nini rais kila jumapili ako na viongozi wengine wako kwa kanisa mimi nataka niseme the 2022 election it was not just an election for leaders to get positions it was also a referendum between those who believe in god and those who believe in the power of men you could never have been a supporter of Kenya Kwanza if you believed in the power of men sababu ulikuwa ukiangalia nchi vyombo vya habari sijui kina nani wanaonesha pale serikali inaendelea inaelekea lakini wale ambao wanamwamini na wanamjua Mungu wao walipiga magoti chini wakaomba na ndio maana tuko hapa siku ya leo So mimi nataka niombe msamaha wale wanasikia vibaya tukiweka Mungu mbele katika mipango ya serikali yetu niwaambie mtusamee For the next five years we shall continue to give thanks to God and uplift him in our government <laughs> Najua sisi hatungeukua watu kama sio Mungu Me I like joking your excellency with these deputy of yours Regardi mara nyingi tukipatana kwa traffic mbele ako na pikipiki nyuma kuna askari wanampigia simu na muambia ala DP wanakulinda ama wamekushika <laughs> ananiambia sababu hata yeye ayuko juu ananiambia waje ni confirm na huyu askari amekaa hapa juu <laughs> ni Mungu ama sio Mungu <laughs> ndio maana tunasema wacha Mungu aitwe nani <laughs> hey, that's why we have to give thanks and we go to church every sunday your excellency bishop kotut ametupatia ujumbe mzuri sana and me i want to thank god for bishop william kotut he spoke about many things but kuna moja ambaye imeniguza he spoke about opportunities to your hustlers wale wananchi ambao wako chini kabisa that every time there is employment wacha hustlers hata hao kama vile sisi viongozi tunasema freedom is here hata hao waseme freedom is here ikiwa ni employment yoyote iwe ya polisi ya jeshi na mimi nataka niwatangazie nyinyi hustlers wa hapa Baringo na Kenya mzima hii serikali ni yenu nyinyi ndio mliweka in power mtu akikuja hapa Baringo anasema for example ati tunataka to recruit jeshi take charge muambie tukubaliane utuambie unataka askari ngapi Seme tunataka 50 tuko watu 500 aweke sheria street watu waambiwe ni yule atakimbia wa kwanza huyu atachukuliwa sio ile mambo asana sana kimbia karibu kivua inapasuka alafu akifika mbele sababu yeye hajatoa kitu kidogo anaangushwa na makosa kidogo kidogo yeah? ati ati unapata una mtu amekimbia ameshinda anaambiwa fungua mdomo najua asana zako na shida vipi Eh? Mwingine meno ilishatoka sababu ya kukula gideri ngumu ambaye haijaifa. Ati anaambua ametolewa sababu ya meno. Kwani jeshi wanaenda kuuma alishabab na meno? Hiyo maneno zizi hatutaki kwa hii serikali. Wacha wacha nikatia hapo kabla ya kufanya incitement. Unajua excellence tulikuwa tumezoea kupiga kelele sasa serikali iko kwa mkono wetu waje tupunguze maneno <laughs> tunaenda fanya excitement atiko kwa kanisa asante na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki